The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services officially ended the COVID-19 public health emergency today. And that means a lot of things that you got used to over the past three years are now going away. 11 Alive's Don White joins us now in studio with how this will impact you and your family. Well, Jennifer, one thing that is not changing is the virus continues to be deadly. The CDC reports COVID-19 takes about 1,000 lives a week in the U.S. That is why it's recommended people with high risk factors continue to get their vaccines. It's something many people across the country and here in Georgia have been waiting for. Because we've had vaccines and treatment, really there's no uh, emergency any longer. Dr. Cecil Bennett with Noonan Family Medicine says three things won't change with the COVID public health emergency coming to an end. The good news is that we'll still have access to free vaccine. We'll have access to treatment options, which is fantastic, and also very important access to telehealth. The vaccine requirement now ends for federal employees and contractors. Also changing is access to free test kits. That will only be available to certain communities, and I suggest that people contact their local health department to see whether or not their community actually has those kits for free. COVID is going to be part of our everyday vernacular going forward. 11 Alive medical expert Dr. Sujatha Reddy says how the coronavirus is treated will also be different. We're going to be hearing people that contract it, come down with it you know, may, you know, not come to an event because they tested positive. It's going to be very similar to the flu. COVID may no longer be a pandemic, but it's not gone. You know, the flu has been with us every single year for most of our lives, and there, there always a, are changes and strains every year of the flu, which is why we get a flu shot every year. Some people may wonder if COVID-19 could become a pandemic again. Dr. Bennett says that's unlikely. Well, you know, virus can only go to people who are not vaccinated or people who don't have natural immunity. And um, when you look at the data, probably 90% of most Americans have been immunized or have natural immunity. So it's very difficult to be in a situation where it would actually be at a pandemic stage once again. The CDC no longer has legal authority to require labs to report COVID-19 testing results, so the data may not be as accurate going forward. The CDC will now rely on voluntary reporting for more than 150 labs.